Welcome to Oxygen Not Included Basic Builds. My name is Nilo, so this is a brand new series that I am starting up on YouTube. This is a tutorial series, and unlike some of the many other tutorials that there are on YouTube, I try to keep mine as simple as possible. So I want to try to avoid like really advanced stuff, like advanced materials, like, oh, you just make this out of unobtainium or whatever. So we're going to build some basic stuff and what better place to start than to build a bathroom because the bathroom is awesome <laughs> for many reasons. You need it early on the base. I'm preparing this. Also, I am never building things in creative mode. That means it might take a bit of time, but it also shows you in what sequence it should build. Now, what I want to do is I want to build a bathroom. I have my schedules in so I usually do it. I keep four dupes in each schedule. So I'd like to have four bathrooms since when they wake up, they like to all go to the bathroom at the same time. Let's start with getting some bathrooms up and running. So lavatories, I'm simply going to take one, two, three, four of those. And then on the medicine, we're going to get some sinks so they actually can. Okay. That always happens. Wow. There, well, that's pretty simple, right? Now, the one thing I do want is, since I do it this way, I want them to make sure that they go always, they, they do not go out of their stall, so they can't go in there and pee and then come back out because then they'll have filthy hands. I do this by going to the door and preventing them from going there. So they can go in and go to the bathroom, but they have to go out on the side. You can also do two on either side, but that means that if for whatever reason there are four people, four dupes on the toilet and they all want to go to the left, then the two first will wash their hands and the two next ones will bypass. So good thing is keep the same number of sinks as bathrooms just to make sure that it works. I'm going to go priority so it actually happens. The next thing is, uh, so the idea of this is it takes water in and it gives polluted water out. The sinks give the same amount of water in as they give polluted water out. So no problem there. The, the lavatories give more polluted water out than they get water in. Maybe kind of obvious, but that's just how it how it goes. I don't need this door and I don't need these ones either. Um, at least not closed. So what I need to do is I set the direction so it's only on the outbound side. Here and let's see. So what I need is I need some water coming in. I think I'll just make it normal. That's what you're going to start with anyway. So pretty simple. I see other people doing uh, like infinite bridges. It's totally not needed. Totally not needed. However, don't make them on a line though, because then they will block them out. So just take them just one up. That's fine. You can also get them up here if you don't want it, but the bathroom is going to be disgusting anyway. Um, yeah, you know what? I, 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 I think that's kind of better. It, it just seems more consistent. Like this. So we get this one here and up. So we kind of hide it inside the walls. That's kind of a better place. Right, so this one's done. So if I, I can take, simply take a pump going in here and then drop it out in the polluted tank, like something like this one is full of normal water just for preparation. Um, but then I can drop it out here with the polluted water. But then I'm kind of accumulating things, accumulating it over time. So what I want to do is I want to use the water sieve here. That one goes in like this. So the water sieve takes polluted water in. Let's click here. Five kilos of polluted water, five kilos of water. The output is some dirt and use filtration medium. That's uh, sand, for example. And then it gets some polluted dirt out. So this one should be good. Now, the simplest thing in the world mm -hmm. would be to do like this. And somehow I need this one. And we just think this might not be the best idea to design. And let's see. Okay, so this one, 
If we look at it as a closed loop, this is going to work just fine as a closed loop. It, the water comes in, becomes polluted water, goes in, gets cleaned and out. However, there is an accumulation during this and I need to make sure that that goes out. So now we use a pretty clever trick. I'm going to make probably make a tutorial on how to abuse this trick some other ways. Uh, if you have a liquid bridge and you have some a pipe going in and out here, that means this could be the main line. And once you put a liquid bridge, it the water will flow here and will always try to get into the liquid bridge first. And only when this one's blocked will it continue. We're going to abuse that fact by making a liquid bridge. That's a gas bridge. That's not going to help us right now. Make a liquid bridge here. <clears throat> Yeah, I thought so. I thought I was going to get in trouble with this. Let's prioritize this so they get, get it done. You know what? Let's just go crazy. Let's go seven so they are sure to do this. And I'm also going to use just a bit of power. I haven't tested this part, so I might be running out of drawing too much power on this. All right, let's walk through what's happening here. This one, I'm just bridging this because I need the output. So here, I need to seed it with some water that will just flow around. But I also want to make sure that after it has flown uh, flowed through the system so many times, it, it starts to accumulate. And if it's accumulate, then bad stuff happens. Yeah, and there. I'm going to get this up and running. So let's look at this. Uh, that one also needs to be set direction like this. You will need to wash your hands soon enough. Right, so this one produces some polluted dirt. What we can do is we can take the polluted dirt and we can. This is totally optional. I don't really do it because I just throw my polluted dirt somewhere else. But what you can do is you can make a compost heap to process the polluted dirt. Then you can make this one a deodorizer to remove some of the exuding polluted oxygen that comes from here. And then if you're depending on how far you are in the game, then you can make a sanitizer which will just take bleed stone. It's a great way to get rid of that stupid bleed stone. There. And the piping is now done, which means that stuff going in here, then I will again make sure that they can't go this way, go this way out. So if they go in here to clean or to shovel this, they must go through this location, this, the bleach, the sanit hand sanitizer going out. That's a pretty good, good thing. This is totally optional. This is not optional. So what I'm going to do now is try to hook it up and see how it flows. The water comes in. And this one is just needed for seeding. So at a certain point, we are going to remove this. Once we feel we have enough water in the system, then I'm going to take it out. So what we're seeing now is oh, I actually want these to be very high priority. I can't do that even. And look at this. They can go in both sides but they can only go out to the right. And they go out. Sometimes wash their hands. <clears throat> they should wash their hands. And you can see the water going in. It will always go upwards first. And I want to see this one just stockpile as much as possible all the way up. And that requires the dupes to actually get to work. I will at this point deconstruct this one. Yes, it'll get a bit of a a splash but I don't really care and then we'll go to my other toilet so we can see how this actually works in in uh, full scale there we go so this one's done and we got a bit of water didn't we I don't know so this is now working uh, once we have this one built build it faster and yeah, we got a bit of carbon dioxide a bit of chlorine a bit of a, a nastiness in here and that's going to be set direction that way. Let's also make sure that it gets a bit higher priority so that deliveries are coming in ahead of everything else. And the rest of this room you can use for whatever you like. You can also just shift it in and make that one on the other side. It's it's pretty simple. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, it's not working. It's waiting bleed stone. That's why. Just checking. 
I do have plenty of bleed stone, so that's not a problem. Good. I have... Uh, we have now built this toilet. It works. It's not doing much, to be honest. And there we go. You're shoveling this, and you got the bleed stone, and washing your hands. Desanitizing your hands. Let's have a look at the other. This is pretty much exactly the same, except that one. And here we can see it. If we could just get uh, some dupes to go to the bathroom. We're going to speed things up just to hope that they will get there. Uh, I want to redo the other one. Come on, dupes. Go to the bathroom. What time is it? And here we have, finally have someone going to the bathroom. Let's watch what happens. Water comes in. And since this one is blocked, some will go up, but the rest will go on to the next location. And that's basically how this works. It makes sure that it does not block under any circumstances. There are some kinks to how to do it. Be careful about what you keep down the line here, because that can block it somehow. And I'm sure that you've been wondering why I have so many mobs. So before you ask, this is these are producing polluted oxygen. They don't need anything. They just produce produce polluted oxygen. So stuff a bunch of uh, deodorizers in there, and everyone's happy. That's free oxygen. Love it, absolutely. But that's uh, beside the point. So this is our plant, or this one as well. This one we just built together. This one, these doors can only go in, so that they only have a reason to go in here when they do that they won't pass through this this facility is done everything is working it's fired up so i hope that works and this is like a self-contained it continues to flow without interruption as long as you have somewhere to dump your polluted water actually that's now becoming a thing so if you were wondering what this base is this is the base i'm currently playing on twitch if you want to check it out then jump over to twitch and have a look at what's going on there and with that Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. This little tutorial built in game, very simple. Uh, I'm going to be making more of these. So if you like it, be sure to hit the like button, the comment section that really shows me that it, I'm, if I'm doing the right thing or the wrong things. And uh, yeah, there'll be more of these uh, if, if there's an interest. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, stay effective.